mom in the back got your bag, make sure you've checked your orders and all that stuff that you do at the beginning, your expiration date and everything. Your primary set, you need to know how many drips that you've got on, um, uh, how many drops you've got per milliliter. This is a 10 set. Your primary extension set is going to be a longer set. You'll have, should have numerous ports on it. You'll have a roller clamp. In facilities, they'll look a little bit different because they'll be designed to handle the pumps. This drip chamber right here is very important. Just a minute. You're going to keep everything sterile. This is your spike. You take your bag. This is your medicine port. Pop the top of that off. Throw it at whoever's standing next to you goes in, make sure it's secure, and flip your bag back up. You're going to squeeze that chamber until it's about halfway up. You can go on and hang your bag. What you're doing is you're letting the fluids come all the way through. You do not have to take the cap off. See, the fluids will drop through with just the cap right there. I'm not going to get it all over the floor. One thing that you might want to do if you see you're getting a lot of air bubbles, if you'll turn the tubing upside down and flick on it like that, see how many more air bubbles come out of it and start going down. So, you're making believe I've got that hung over something. You can see the air bubbles coming down. Again, flip it up. If you flick on this, you're going to see more air bubbles are going to come out of it because it's holding a little bit of air. Get all your air out of it. Once the air's out, it's dripping. Take your roller clamp, clamp it down, and you have primed your primary tubing.